Welcome to your Midday Sports. I'm Spencer Darlington. We kick off with football. After earning a spot in the CONCACAF final round for the women's under-20 championship slated for the Dominican Republic, Director of Football Wendell Downswell says a strategic approach will now be taken to help the young reggae girls secure a historic World Cup ticket. The Jamaicans won their three group games in the first round in Nicaragua and are now set to take part in the eight-team playoff where three and a half spots will be up for grabs to the get to the World Cup. It is for us now to build on this going forward as it relates to we will give them a break for a, a, box, a week and then the tournament begins, the next leg of the tournament begins uh, May 24th until June 3rd so therefore we are looking forward to in that top three to qualify for the World Cup itself. This group stand up grand opportunity of being part of a very historical feat going forward. Should the under 20 team qualify they will become the first Jamaican age group women's team to appear at a World Cup. The semi-final lineup for the JFF Link Cup knockout competition will be completed this afternoon with the playing of the last two return leg quarterfinal matches at the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex. At 4 p.m., Portmore United will take a 2-1 lead into their clash with Mullines United. Portmore were beaten 2-0 by Cavalier in their last Jamaica Premier League encounter, while Mullines United held Champions Harbour View to a one-all draw in their last outing in the league. In the second game at 7, Tivoli Gardens, who are enduring a torrid time in the Premier League with three wins all season, take a 2-0 lead over Dunby Holden in their reverse fixture. Dunby Holden, who were last season's Premier League runners-up, are eight and five points away from a playoff spot. They were beaten 1-0 in their last outing in the league by Arnett Gardens. Meanwhile, reigning Premier League champions Harbourview and Cavalier advanced to the semi-finals of the Link Cup following Wednesday's quarter-final second leg results. Cavalier snatched a late victory in their contest against Mount Pleasant, with uh, Gadiel Irving getting the all-important goal in second half added time for their 1-0 triumph over the St. Anne-based outfit. It gave them a 2-1 victory on aggregate. Earlier, Harbourview became the first team into the last four after their 3-2 aggregate win over Chapleton Maroons. Harbourview had to come from behind on the night for a 2-1 win after trailing 1-0 at one stage in the contest. Chapleton went ahead in the 33rd minute through Aaron Elliott, but the Stars of the East equalized through Romain Breckenridge in minute 67. Roger Smith put the game to bed in minute 75. The first leg ended at one all. And finally, Olympic sprint hurdles champion Hansa Parchment has been confirmed for the Drake Relays, set for April 26 to 29 in Iowa in the United States. Parchment will make his seasonal debut in his pet event at the meet. He will face the likes of fellow Jamaican and former world under-20 champion Damian Thomas, as well as Barbadian world championship finalist Shane Brathwaite. Parchment is the defending champion for the event. 2015 world champion Daniel Williams is also down to compete in the women's 100-meter hurdles, in which he will face reigning world champion and the world record holder Toby Amusan of Nigeria, as well as American 2019 world champion Nia Ali. Jamaica's Com Games finalist, Sean D. Thompson, is also slated to contest the men's long jump event. And uh, that's it for your midday sports report. I'm Spencer Darlington. Join us again this evening for Primetime Sports Thursday. And uh, that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.